against the KO power. That is Rayman, so that's going to help out a bunch. But we've seen, uh, as history has shown, we've seen plenty of more decks in these departments. If you get caught by one D-Light in center stage, you're going to have a problem. But the combo game in general from Wardex is an issue. However, with, at least with Keith, you have more range to get away from that here. Slightly wider stage, but not nearly as much room to hide on the side of, uh, on the sides. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, it's crazy that you were talking about the Gauntlets too, tearing everything up. And that is the first two weapons we're going to see from both these characters, both these players, mm -hmm. just trying to get some crazy Gauntlet action going on. But again, Mordex, very strong character in general. Not only has the Gauntlets, but has this Scythe. Going to be able to control exactly where he wants his opponent to go at any point in time. Oh, good job getting away from that. Not mm. trying to stand directly in front of side sake. Another one comes out there from Keith. Keith jumps, gets the side air. Weapon tossed down. Himway is going to be able to get back on. Gets the side air to get back through. Now Axe is on the side of Keith, and he is deep in the red. Himway's got to be very careful. Yeah, but look at this movement. There we go. Jumping around there a little bit, getting some of that action going oh. on. But unfortunately, the sick going to come through, taking out that first stock. Yeah, Keith throwing out a healthy amount already. I think we've seen four off the start, so Keith getting things going right away. Got just a couple of hits out, trying to find the D-Light. Does not get the connection he's looking for. Himway just backing off a bit, weapon tossed down. I like the fact that Himway is playing in his face still, showing Keith he's not afraid even after the, like, the ending of that last stock. Mm -hmm. We just saw the gravity cancel there, attempting to just maybe get a hit, but either way, it does give him a different angle to approach the stage as well. But now both of them on stage here. No weapon here for Keith, but oh my goodness. <laughs> he just yeeted them all the way out there. Fantastic stuff from Himway, evening up the score a little bit. They are a little bit in the orange, so they are in a little bit of trouble, mm -hmm. but you can absolutely turn this around here, especially with Mordex's combo game. Look, Rayman's a little old, right? He's been around for a while, and all Mordex was trying to just like, look, let me guide you, old man, right <laughs> out of here. And, but this could be a guide on the outside as well, but good dodge going to get back through. Recovery is going to help out. I like the way that Himway has been using weapon tosses more as a position control tool because Keith has been winning out a lot on these nares, so now he's just weapon tossing more to position Keith off the side. He tries to go for the side to, to catch him, though, but Keith punishes him for it. Yeah, that was actually a huge punish, too. I mean, we do see Keith in the red, so I'm like 100% Himway could find a way to even this up fairly quickly. But there we go. Weapons in the hands of both players. <laughs> I'm going to toss it out and just try to get something going. You're not going to be able to take the stock. Yeah, the recovery's not going to be enough. Tries to catch him going to the left side there. Does not get the recovery from the gauntlet. Neutralite's going to send him all the way up. That's going to be Ooh. enough to get to KO. Yeah, 100%. Fantastic stuff here from Himway as we get into a last stock situation here on game one. It definitely goes to show exactly the type of pressure, what you need to rise to the occasion here in winner's finals of all places. So every game counts. You cannot be sleeping at any point in time. No, especially with how good both of them have been playing so far today. Neutralize going to send him off, trying to find a side air on the way back in. He misses it. Recovery sending him off to the side. Himway trying to catch him on his landing. Gets it very aggressive. And he's been punishing Keith a lot for swinging out a disadvantage compared to the very early of the game mm -hmm. where he was getting a hit a lot for that. Yep. Okay. Oh, Oh, misses the dare. Okay, goes for a sick. No nope, real punish on that. A little bit surprising here. Oh, oh my goodness. Down. Okay, Keith's got to get by this. He tries to go for the D-Light, oh. but he misses out. Himway's going to get back out with the recovery. This is extremely close right now. Woo. Misses the gauntlet recovery. He actually yeah, tried to get the gravity canceled there. Tough spot to be in. Finds a way back to stage. Bullying his way back to the stage here as well. Gets the next Ooh. weapon here. Trying to keep Keith weapon starved. Goes for a weapon toss as well. Just kind of getting rid of that. Does pick up the gauntlets too. Yeah, he had weapon advantage Ooh. for a second. Okay, goes directly up that time. Doesn't go to the side. And he catches him on the dodge that time. Finally close closes it out with the recovery. That was an intense game one already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously, that was just game one, right? I'm down for all five. Yeah. Give I'm, me. I, give, give me them. Yeah, give us, give give us the whole show. We want we want to see the whole thing here. What an incredible start there for him. Uh, well, actually, a better start for Keith, but as it went on, Hemway started to make the adjustments, and you can see in the graph, too, at least we could see, like, the early stocks were all in favor of Keith. Over on survivability there, he was holding on to him well, but then at the end, mm -hmm. look at the defense that came out from Hemway there. Shut it down, was able to get uh, like hold it much better and the damage only slightly in favor 637 to 581 is not that far off yeah no it's definitely very close definitely keeping it very competitive that's like what maybe 50 almost 60 uh damage difference but really not that bad at all i mean that's what you want to be seeing too uh but yeah look at these weapon throws here we did see a couple attempts at like some of uh, those gimps off stage trying to potentially you know get an early stock mm -hmm. or whatnot but even then just we saw some weapon tosses trying to confirm into combos like these guys are definitely looking for these weapon throws um but we're going to be going into my Miami Dome here for game two. Let's see how this one plays out. Yeah, you talk about the combo game. Well, this is definitely going to be one way to get things started here. Like Himway has had quite a few positions where he was able to get combo extensions off of the weapon toss and the pressure they pushed him to the side. I think for Keith, 
now having a platform to go to gives him a few more options to get away and to kind of mix things up. But right now, he's kind of struggling a little bit to get away from Himway on the ledge in the first place. Yeah, no, definitely a little bit of a struggle, but it shouldn't be anything that keeps him, you know, out of out of play for too long. I mean, we see what Himway can do even when they're behind by a little bit. Oh, definitely a tough spot right there. Going to keep him on the stage. All right, keep it on the wall there. All right, yeah, and it, this all coming from the whiff on the, uh, the side side stick there, but Himway is not really shown any fear and wanted to go for them. Oh, goes, okay, so that was good because if it hit, perfect. If it doesn't, he got off stage anyways for committing for the SIG, so he's still fine. Weapon toss down, though, is gonna catch him out of the jump, and Keith once again gets the first stock. Yeah, definitely a great stuff from Keith. I mean, but this is what we saw from last game, too. Keith kind of got off to a good start, mm -hmm. and then we just saw him wait, just do their thing. Hey, goes for another weapon throw. <laughs> definitely for something a little bit crazy, but does find a way to get the stock, even it up here, too. I don't think he's taking a hit on this one. No, and that was good defense from him way, too, because that was the spot where it it looked like, hey, come out here and get me. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm not going to get aggressive here. But right through, Keith got the hit. And extremely close game, regardless of losing that stock. Does get juggled a little bit. Does get to the platform. And these neutral lights and the side are just missing. Keith is going on the offensive really well so far in the second stock. Oh, yeah. Okay, but there we go. We see some more pressure. Oh, oh, all of a sudden, it was one person's edge guard. And now Himway says, give me that. This belongs to me now. Can he keep it going? No, both players will find a way back to the stage. Yeah, he took a lot of damage on the way back up there. Himway guiding him a little bit off the wall, but he got sent to the red for it. Luckily for Axe, though, that's not too far to get that damage back in. Oh, yeah, no. Axe is definitely just an <laughs> incredible weapon in general, man. I feel like it has a little bit of everything. But here we go. We got two gauntlets popping off here. Okay, hey, good to see there. the first little grab. Yep. Okay, near coming through. Oh, wait, D Light just gonna miss out on the side, but he catches him with the side air. That's not gonna be enough. Keith has had good defense so far, gets oh. away from the weapon toss, and unarmed recovery is going to be enough. Wow, that's actually a, like a, kind of a scary spot to put yourself into. We've seen that Himway definitely likes to throw these weapons out. Let's try to get a little bit of something extra out of it. But really, the other part of it is that they have no problem going to hand-to-hand, -hand, you know, unarmed. But also, they have no issue just picking up more weapons. They no. get, happen to find themselves in this position pretty often. This is a tough spot here for Keith. A uh, continuously oh, puts him out oh, there. Can he close it out? I okay. think that's going to be it. Yeah, he's going to get him all the way out there. And because of the fact that I, I think the biggest thing was going for that GC side sig. It was like, oh, crap. <laughs> Just <laughs> like he had to back off. There's so, it's such a scary spot. It forces the defensive option. He was already near sweat beads. And he had no more defensive resources to get back. He tried to snag, like, he tried to snag him away. But he was already up a stock. So it didn't matter at that point. Right. I mean, we were kind of having this discussion earlier. Scythe is kind of a messed up weapon, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> that, that weapon oh, has a little bit of Messed up to the point everything. we're going to see the mirror match. Ooh, we're going to okay. see the Ditto come out here. All so right. no more Rayman on the side of Keith. And this is the first time Keith has looked at a deficit in a set today. Because mm -hmm. he only dropped one game to Sire, and pri prior to that, didn't drop any. So Hemway's playing that good right now. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be interesting here. I wonder what the idea is. Maybe it's just recognizing I, I, I'm not sure if Keith definitely plays around with Mordex that often. But the other thing here is just like, it could just be a little of I know what you're doing, and I think I can do it better. I'll show you exactly what I can do here. But trying to stave off from going down to the elimination bracket, this is going to be mm -hmm. tough, it, especially changing <laughs> it after two games. Yeah, going to an elimination bracket where your your opponents are PR <laughs> one and two. Congratulations. We have all of the recent champions waiting for you when you get set down. So Keith has got to pick it up. He's been able to do it all day. But Himway, you know, was able to get that dub last week in doubles. It looks like he hasn't missed a beat since. Mm -hmm. And... You got a lot of work to do if you want to make this happen. Yeah, we do have the double scythe action coming on here right now. Demon Island. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. Great sick. That was actually a Yeah, you got the charge read. on it too. Just oh, yeah. like a call catch him on his way down. When you start getting hit by stuff like that with the charges, Ooh. they you know they're living in your head. You gotta you have to answer back. Maybe Keith gets a little bit more aggressive compared to before, but all the aggressive tactics haven't worked too well. Luckily avoided that too. Yeah, Keith's definitely trying to go okay. for the six here. You gotta be careful. You're gonna drop the lead if you're not careful. Does have stage control. Can they do something with it? Oh, okay. I do like that weapon toss there. Just a little bit of a lob, you know, maybe it kind of arcs down, but still able to close this out with the recovery on the gauntlets. Fantastic stuff from Hemway. Continuing their domination here in winners. Yeah, even even with Himway in the red here, I feel like Himway has won so much more reward every time he actually wins neutral by comparison to Keith. So mm -hmm. even here on the start, Keith has to find his KO. Otherwise, he's probably going to see himself deep in the red before it goes. The command input off the, the D-Light is not going to be enough because it's a little too far away. Sarah might do it, and it's going to be able to take it out 
only yellow, that could have been significantly worse. Yeah, I mean, it is a little bit of extra credit, so, I mean, definitely going to be feeling a little bit comfortable here. But still, I mean, Keith is definitely still very much in this. Look at this, actually almost taking the lead. And I think with that hit, he might have that, but it's still really too close to call. It's not like a huge factor in yeah. the long run. But man, look at this. Keith's I, starting I, to get that yeah. engine running. I mean, he's connected Nairs and Dares significantly more, and then he catches him on the way back up. Keith can, okay, Keith going to the position on the side because he knew that there wasn't really a good idea with how many resources he used to go for D-Light into GC Ground Pound, so, uh, or DC D-Light into Ground Pound. So just backing off, smart move, but has at least evened it up. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, these guys are really just trading blows back and forth. There we go, another weapon Ooh. toss. Go for a gravity cancel. You're gonna lose a stock for that one. Once again, oh. guiding him right off the side. This time it was Keith who decided to send him out there. This switch off the Rayman to the Mordex so far, Skip, has looked a lot better. Yeah, I know it definitely started off a little shaky, but he just needed a little bit of time to warm that up. Just mm -hmm. one stock, really. But yeah, right now, Keith looking fantastic. It continues to pile the damage whoa, here. Whoa. Look at this combo game. Yeah, Kat, he's getting a lot of three to four pieces consistently. He's keeping Himway at disadvantage. Himway is struggling a bit to find his KO. The neutralites are going to be enough to do it. Or, like, what do you do, excuse me, the satellites, what do you do now to answer back? Because Keith has been challenging him so much on landings, and he's been winning consistently on it, and Keith has answered that for me as he catches him <laughs> with the side stick and he brings us to a game four. You gotta imagine what type of like mental damage that does too, right? You're down 2-0, mm -hmm. you say, all right, I'm gonna switch to your character and show you how this is done. Like that's just absolutely like, that. that's almost devastating. Yeah. Like hopefully what we're seeing here from Himway is he'll be like, all right, you know what? I see what you did. I'm not gonna stress about that too yep. much. I'm gonna get right into this game four. I have at least another game I could drop before we, we starting to get into the panic mode here. Yeah. So look at that. Even going right back to Demon Island. So yeah, I like no time either. Because I mean, yeah. But just coming in this, just be like, all right, look, I know what you did. That's great. I know you got your moment, but I'm gonna show you what this is all about right here. Yeah, the best players know how to put it in their back pocket. Exactly. Like when you have a game like that, you have to be able to rebound properly, otherwise you're gonna derail. That's how reverse three O's begin. And Keith has been making a, a Legitimate case that one could happen here, mm -hmm. but we got to see how Himway starts off this game. Well, right now, Himway starting off a little rough, so I mean, honestly, Keith is just playing fantastic here. Looks like this switch to Mordex is definitely the play, but we see what Himway can do with these sites, so we'll definitely see how this works out for him. Yeah. Keeping him off stage. Look at this, just keeping him preoccupied. Yeah, just missed out on that dare, too. That could have led to a Woo. decent amount of damage, trying to keep him off stage. Keith now on the side of the site, gonna get hit by recovery on his way up. It won't be enough because it's a little bit too out of range. Weapon toss down to try and catch him on the jump, just missing out. Oh! <laughs> okay, doesn't get the weapon toss here. He should be able to recover just oh. fine. Oh, Tried just... the reversal. I'm with it. He was so close to connecting on that dare, but he's going to end up losing his stock in center stage. However, very close. Mm -hmm. And I, I, like, because of that first stock, I still feel like Kingway can close it out here in this game. He just... He has to do what Keith, he has to basically do what Keith was doing before. Well, hey, closing out that first stock there, that's definitely what we want to be seeing. And honestly, even after the rough start, they definitely mm -hmm. made a very great run, getting their combo game down. It really just came down to, you know, small interactions yep. at the very end for who took that first stock. But here we go, man. Himway starting to get the sights going here. The combos are definitely very lethal. You look at the damage continues to pile up. He's racking it up over and over again. And good, great cr credit to Keith as well for how good he's been playing Ooh. too, to keep himself going even after those first two games. Just keeping it as healthy it is right now. Taking quite a few damage. Okay. <laughs> Hive mind in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a go for the sidelines hey, at I the same it. time. <laughs> but yeah, kind of like you mentioned. Mash, both, I mash. We uh, do it both, together. Yeah, both <laughs> these players, are, you know, they're getting their three pieces like you mentioned, man. Look like my Popeye's order. But right now, it's definitely. <laughs> they're looking a little bit tough here. Himway might be able to close this out. No great recovery from Keith, though. That weapon toss was so good, too, because he was already at sweat beat, so he couldn't really afford to go back down there without an ox on the oh. way in. He catches him on his way up. Keith gets the second stock first. Okay, definitely a fantastic spot here for Keith, but Himway should be able to even this up. Look at that. You can see them taking very a careful approach. They're not trying to commit to anything too hard, but you got to be careful because all of a sudden Himway, excuse me, Keith, can get that damage built up. We've seen what he can do yep. with the Scythe. Yeah, Keith was getting consistent reads over and over again, but also just like his positioning has been so good. Even if he doesn't get a lot of damage out of it, he's always just out of range from when Himway decides to strike, tries to catch him with the sidelight recovery. He's not going to be on the recovery hit. Goes for a ground oh. pound, just gets by him. 
Yeah, this is definitely starting to get a little bit scary, though. Himway, you know, has been doing very well the first two games. Mm -hmm. Pretty much in their favor. Not strongly, but definitely noticeable enough. Dibrico finally getting that stock, and I feel a little relieved for Himway at the moment. Yeah, for Himway, this could be your trip to Grands. If you could get this, you put yourself in that comfortable cushion of having a set to play with. But Keith has the ability to still get the game. He has to get a big opening. He gets, Ooh. he almost gets one. He tries to get right outside. Uh -oh. He has an opportunity here, Skiff. Yeah, looking a little bit like that first game or second game, excuse me, that we saw when Himway closed it out. But no, going to be able to find Ooh. a way back. But there we go. We're going to a game five, baby. That's what it's talking about. Well done. He hadn't gone for that option pretty much all set yet. He constantly went out there and spaced him out, waited for the, uh, he, he waited for an aggressive option from mm -hmm. Himway first and then punished him after. He always waited. That time, finally said, what if I meet you first? And it got him before the wall touch, caught him with the dare, and he gets this to a game Five. Yeah, I mean, it's all about that conditioning. Listen, if I'm Himway right now, I'm definitely a little I'm bit I'm stressing nervous. a little bit I'm now. stressing, yeah. man. Because look, you know, like, it, it, getting reversed the Ryo'd, it, that, that's a bad feeling, right? Yeah. But it's worse <laughs> when the when your opponent goes, I'm going to play your character and do it. Like, oh, that's, geez. That's hard to rebound from sometimes. It really is. It, it, the, the numbers at the very end, too, 501 to 494. Mm. That's how close that game was. And I think it's going to come down to the exact same setup here in this last game. I am so curious to see who's going to not have to deal with that extremely threatening elimination finals. Well, I tell you straight up, man, what it comes down to is good players, the difference between good players and great players, it's how well you can handle your mental mm -hmm. in tough situations like this. Can Himway rise to the occasion to close out this game five, or will the prophecy be fulfilled? And Keith going to be able to get the reverse Rio moving their selves onto Grants. I mean, we'll see as it plays out. Right now, it's a little bit Himway's favor, but again, mm -hmm. we, you can't tell anything about these games from the start. It's all about how they finish. Look, something you alluded to. Oh, the ground pound. He's good. Okay, is he going to be able to get the wall touch? He's still going to get oh. it, but he gets covered, and Himway gets the first stock. That's something you are alluding to a second ago. Something you can't learn in the lab, something you can't learn training for hours, is endurance and the mental fortitude to be in this position. And if the one who is able to close it out at the end is going to be the one who keeps their composure better. Right now, it's Himway out the start, but Keith has had moments that shown he can get back into this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's a good start. He does not get the KO off the top. Ooh. I do like the attempt for the gravity cancel there. Just potentially trying to get that stock out of the way. But you can see, Ooh. okay, it looks a little down. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, he, he was already out of enough resources that mm -hmm. the D-Light was enough to send him off. There was no way Himway was probably making that back safely. So... Well, Not I'm, too much damage on Keith. Yeah, honestly, I'm glad that Keith was able to close out that stock because once you start seeing those six start to be thrown out time and time again, it does feel a little like a desperate situation, yeah. right? But we did see Keith close it out. I mean, right now, Himway's just doing a good job. They recognize they have a strong lead here. But if you keep throwing yourself into danger like that, Keith's mm -hmm. going to take advantage of it, and that lead's not going to be anymore. Yeah, Keith has been able to... He's getting, he's getting hit quite a bit, but he's been able to keep it close enough, and he's getting his damage on. Just misses Cider, going for the chase weapon toss, catches him at the center stage. Himway gets caught again. Ooh. Just misses it that time, though. Oh, <laughs> this could be good. This could be really big for Keith. Oh, he just misses out. The recovery gets up, and now this could be an opportunity for Himway. Weapon toss down. Keith is not going to touch the wall. Oh, my goodness. And all of a sudden, Himway continues to keep this lead, but they are in danger of losing a stock quickly here. Mm -hmm. We see how Keith, when they find their openings, they commit and they confirm into things. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's not going to be enough off the top here on Demons, but Keith trying to catch him. He has His defense has been on point where he's been able to avoid a lot of combo starters from Himway. Himway starting to get something going here, though. Definitely a little bit of a tough scenario here. Okay, keep making the smart play. Oh. Going right back to stage, getting those resources back, and getting a strong edge guard to put this into a last That was situation. the game for a winner. Mm. That was the one that got him that game. And now in Himway's head, it's like, well, is he going to do that again next time? You have to be so scared. You might use that dodge, and Keith might blow you up for it. You're going to miss out on the recovery. Hey, oh, okay. wait, Keith. Oh, oh, oh my God. Wait. wait. Oh, is this really scary for him? Wait, he gets the crowd, though. Okay. Oh, my God. Keith just keeps finding these openings, man. This is what I'm talking about. Himway's got to play a bit defensive. When Keith gets these openings, he's making them count. Mm -hmm. He's getting his hits. He's getting his damage in. Yeah, Keith, Himway just trying to find a cider to get, like, some positioning. He does not get the recovery, though. Himway trying to get, uh, excuse me, Keith trying to get a punish for it. A little bit too far away. Bolt, you can see the fear. Look at the no, end. Neither one of them want to commit to the approach. There's the weapon toss, though. He's going to have to touch the wall. He's going to catch him. And Keith is going to be the one to close it out and finish the reverse three. To get that comfortable spot in Grands. And it sucks because you can see how nervous Himway was at the very end there. Mm -hmm. Threw out the same move 
like four or five times in a row. You know they just wanted to get that that hit in just so they could just get that game five W, move on the grands. But unfortunately, we saw it all fall apart. Honestly, just a great counter pick, I guess, from Keith going into Mordex and yeah. really showing us how it's done, I guess. Stepping away from the Rayman, switching it over to the Mordex, making the reverse 3-0. And the most important part uh. was most of those games, he was behind at the start, and mm -hmm. he brought it back. Like stock two or halfway through the game, Keith, I, I, Keith was better at finding the openings, whereas Himway was good at the start, but couldn't close it out the way you were talking about. Man. You could see the nerves. And look how close it was again. 545 to 490. Uh, how many sigs were thrown out? There had to be a lot. Actually, okay, seven on the... That's 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 Tiger and Sire. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, it does seem like it's, it's a little bit messed up. I gotta up, throw but, it off. So let's throw yeah, it over no, here. Uh, it was like, Keith. Like, look at that. So seven signatures.